North-South Skirmish Association was developed to preserve the history of the way the folks lived during that era, the way they camped, and the way they shot their firearms. Cannon fire. Yep, part of the American Civil War. Today on Black Paramedian Shooting, we're gonna show you the cannons actually being fired with round balls at targets. This ought to be real cool. Most of the action going on Saturday at the NSSA Spring Shoot is use of small arms. But just when you think it's over, the big guns come out. This should be very exciting. We're getting ready to shoot some huge round balls with mortars. Please allow me to introduce to you one of the battalions here today. We are the 30th Virginia Sharpshooter Battalion. Rob, we're about to go to a mortar round here. Tell me uh, briefly what we're going to do here. What are your what are your plans here? Okay, now what this is is it's a mortar match at the North South Skirmish Association. Each mortar fires seven shots at a stake that's a hundred yards away, okay. and you take the five closest, and that's where you get your score from. Now what we're getting ready to do is we're setting up to fire. I'm working with the 30th Virginia Sharpshooter Battalion, and we're setting up to fire the mortar right off the bat. First thing they do is they aim the mortar, then they load the mortar. Now the loading is a multi-process step. First of all, they set the powder charge, advance the powder charge, they advance the powder charge, put the powder charge in. They drop the ball, but while they drop the ball, they keep the thumb over the over the fuse hole so the mortar doesn't go out. You will have 45 then minutes for the sound of the horn it. to complete your course They say, make fire. ready. They bring it up and they fire it. Please place your flag. Oh, I can't wait to see this. This ought to be interesting. In the uh, it, this is a good time. This is a good time. I can't wait to see this. This is poor man's artillery. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. <laughs> All right. Mark, it's good to see you. Take it. Turn to fire. How do you, how you know which one's yours? I mean, you got them painted yellow or something? Or? I mean, most people mark them some kind of some way. Some way, so you know who's But there who's. should be enough space in there. You don't really run into that Run into that. Cannons, on the other hand, because yeah. it's one, one group right after another, so it's ball on top of ball. Oh, yeah. They'll well, paint those or mark them some kind of way. They say they have to paint them. Maybe crush, you can figure out who's is who's. each round they'll start loading again. Two minutes. I don't know. Every time I tell them. You can't get up this whatever you did. Whatever you did. So you go down and you put the pin to the ball. Okay. Closest five are what counts. That's what I'm thinking. Short and dead center. Pretty close. Yeah. Just short. Oh, second. Oh, hang on. 
Yeah, they use string lines. Some of them have lifts that they can see and marks that they line up. So here's plumb bob over here. Some of them. I mean, one guy using plumb bob over here. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we eyeball it because we're not that good. We just have fun. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's my kind of shooting. Black powder. I would just... like to do it with you guys because you all would look like you'd have more. That's my kind of fun there. Yeah. Be a redneck and just come shoot and have a good time. There you go. Hope for the best. We get lucky, we get lucky, we don't, we don't. It you go home and still smiling because you got chance. My objective was not a job. I'm supposed to be doing this because it's fun. Yes. <laughs> so that's kind of how How much powder do you put in each charge there on the I, average? I, I, it depends on the size of the ball, but we average between 350 to 380. That's one F powder though. Well, wow. that's, that's yeah. heavy grains. That's really. I big. shoot a lot of two F from a smoothbore. I was yeah. curious what you go. I figured it'd be one F. One, one F is what we use most often. 350? Three to 350 grains? 350 to 380. 380, okay. Depending on the si weight of the ball. Right, right, I get that. That's what I figure on the average. <laughs> what you so you use that because it yeah, burns so slow. There's a lot of really ticked off frogs right now. Yeah, because I just killed a whole bunch of them. Out there. I dropped one shot and just one. Are these 12 oh, yeah, pounders are shooting? Spot. What are they, 12 pounders? Six. six pounders? Some guys shooting 12, some guys shooting eights. I've seen some 12s look like a ball go. There's Big a couple jokers. of larger ones. Uh, down. Further down are a big one. Those mortars were very cool. Interesting to watch those huge round balls fly up in the air. Yeah, you know, 100 or so feet, and then plop right down next to the stakes. That's what those guys were looking for, closest to the stake to win. After the mortars were finished, it was time to move on to the big cannons. I think 21 cannons showed up, smoothbore and rifled ones, for the competition. Before this afternoon's competition started, the association offered a tribute to Charlie Smithgall, a well-known supporter of the NSSA. competition was very interesting. These cannons were actually shooting round balls at 200 yards. The targets were painted cannons on paper and big bullseyes. The larger ones were for the smoothbore cannons and the smaller bullseyes were for the rifled cannons. The object was to shoot the round balls through the targets and take them out for a score. Enjoy this montage of cannon shooting. There is more to this competition than just guesswork. Check out this fella, how he's sighting in his cannon for the next shot. Pretty interesting stuff. Shoot 12 pounders down here a while ago. I don't know what's going on this round, but we're gonna go over here and check out some of the action. Yeah. 
Snakes in the Creek under the bridge. If you're interested in joining, check out n-ssa.org. As we possibly may hear more cannon fire in the background, it's a grim reminder that the cannon was a lethal weapon used during the American Civil War by both sides. Very, very devastating weapon. Just a grim reminder of what it was like here in the 1860s in America. Thanks for watching. And remember, Jesus does love you. And we'll catch you next week on another fun adventure.